it's Jennifer from C Lemon. Today I'm going to show you three easy style hacks. These DIYs are a really fun way to refresh your clothes and accessories for spring or summer. If you are new here, welcome. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel C Lemon where you can find more DIYs just like this one. And for more inspiration and behind the scenes kind of stuff, follow me on my social links and hit that like button if you want to see more life hacks or other kind of hacks. All right, let's get into it. First up, here's how to update your sunglasses with a spring floral pattern. Using a few colors of nail polish, I'm going to make some roses on these sunglasses, but they could also kind of look like cherry blossoms. First, I'm going to lay down some spots of blue, and this is totally freehand. It's supposed to look more organic, but if you put the color in the right spots, it could look like those sunglasses came that way, as if the floral pattern was printed on them. Then some light blue next to those to look more like leaves and pink nail polish to make the flower shapes. And you want to let each color dry before you put another color on top of it. Then some burgundy on top of those flowers to add some dark spots. After that dries, then add some light pink to highlight the petals on the flowers. And add dots to make rosebuds. You can also repeat that on the arms of the sunglasses. Then you have some cute floral shades for the spring or summer. Next up, here's how to turn a tank top into a tote bag. This is great for those tank tops that you no longer wear, or if you find one at a thrift store for like a dollar, this is a super cheap way to make a tote bag. Fold the tank just like this and you'll see that the arms become the handles. Then fold it inside out and lay it flat, and then we're going to cut strips on the bottom of the tank. Cut through both sides of the bottom, making strips that are about one inch wide and three inches long. It's totally fine to estimate it and the cuts don't have to be perfect. Then tie both sides of the strips into a knot. And do that to each pair of strips. Then turn the tank inside out. And now you have a tote bag. You could leave it just like this and use it as is, or you can add a design onto it. I'm going to add a pattern in the middle to disguise that seam from the tank top. To draw this on, I'm using fabric puffy paint. Starting in the middle, making a diamond, repeating that across the seam, and adding more diamonds inside those. Then filling in the centers with different colors of arrow shapes. After the paint is dry, now I have a fun tote bag made from just a tank top and a cool pattern with puffy paint. The next hack is an easy way to update your plain shirts with a summer inspired graphic. I wanted to bring this dark shirt out of the winter and into the summer with some sort of graphic on the top. We're going to do this with a resist technique using washable non-toxic glue. Clear or white, the most important thing is that it's washable. Place a piece of plastic on the inside of the shirt underneath where the graphic will be so that the glue or paint doesn't seep through to the back of the shirt. And make sure it's plastic, not paper. If you use paper, it will stick to the back of the shirt and you'll have to get it off. It's a mess, trust me. Just use something plastic. I'm going for a tropical palm tree graphic on this and I'm just going to eyeball it out. You can of course draw anything you want and draw it on with the glue. You can make any line art or fill in the spaces with more glue. Just keep in mind that the glue does spread out a little once it settles, so if you have two lines that are right next to each other and you want a space between them, give it a little more room so that it has room to kind of spread out. When you're done drawing out your graphic, then you want to let the glue dry. This will take about an hour or so, and you can place a fan on it or take it outside to make it dry a little faster. When the glue turns into a hard, rough texture, that means it's dry, and now you can apply the fabric paint. I'm going for a sunset, so I'm using yellow, pink, and blue fabric paint and applying it with a sponge brush. And I want the edges to be kind of faded into the shirt, so I'm just rubbing on the paint lightly on the ends. Keep in mind, the color will only show up around the glue areas. The glue areas will be the same color as your shirt. Then with the same brush and the same dabbing motion, I did a gradient of those three colors and faded out the color on top around the collar. Then let the fabric paint dry for about three hours. After that, remove the plastic and soak the shirt in warm, soapy water for about 10 minutes. This will help the glue come off easier. Then it's time to wash off the glue. You'll notice the glue areas are kind of slimy. That's totally normal. You just want to kind of rub it together, rub the shirt together, and wash it off. 
You can then continue hand washing the shirt or pop it in your washer and dry it as you normally would. And then your shirt is ready to wear. I'm feeling the summer tropical vibes on this one, and this DIY resist technique is really a fun way to add a bold graphic to any of your shirts. I hope you like these style hacks and try them out for yourself. You can, of course, adjust them to fit your style, and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And be sure to subscribe to my channel Sea Lemon for more DIY. If you're up for some more hacks, try these life hacks using binder clips. And if you want to add some design to your phone case, try out these DIY methods right here. All of these links will be in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.